Marty and Floyd's electric assisted pinion driven front folding tandem recumbent based on the tri sled gizmo model. Easy. So recumbent trikes are obviously really stable both when they're sitting and uh, when they're moving. They're a really good platform for people of all levels of ability. So when you turn a recumbent trike into a tandem you get another capability and that is uh, anybody who has any kind of needs which might prohibit them from actually riding a bicycle by themselves can be catered for. Uh, this can be even minor disabilities to even the most major disabilities can be catered for in a recumbent trike tandem. This is the first of three builds I've got to get through for this year, which are all based around this premise. Marty and Floyd's uh, tandem recumbent trike build is based on our gizmo model. Gizmo features a carbon fiber seat and a fairly sporty low center of gravity. This was chosen because Marty's an active rider and actually wants a bike that actually can cover some distance. Uh, and the, the need for a tandem is for his son Floyd, who is unable to pedal a bicycle uh, unassisted and controlled by himself. So for this build, we're grabbing the best attributes of Gizmo and creating them in an adaptive cycling uh, tandem bike, which is, I guess, a bit more exciting than your average sort of adaptive cycling tandem trike. A few features we've included are a folding at the front so that it just reduces the length a little bit for him to get it into his caravan and onto his trailer. Uh, the addition of a pinion gearbox, which uh, enables you to shift gear while stationary uh, or moving, which is great when you're working with Floyd and he has to stop unexpectedly uh, to get going again. Uh, the pinion enables you to shift any time you want. It also features a uh, 250 watt electric assist on the back, so uh, the bike could actually be pedaled with only one rider and cover reasonable distance and with a minimal of effort just fine. So the workload at the moment is pretty full on, so I didn't get a chance to do as many uh, in-build or progressive shots as I would have liked in this video, so I'm just going to give you the slideshow now of the completed machine and show you all of its features. custom build, we followed our processes, had our meetings, uh, did all the frame building, uh, Tim was on the parts, fines, and Jono was doing the assembly, everything seemed normal, we were all remarking at how clever we are building this nice little custom trike. And then the brain fart moment. In fart, in fart, in, 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 in fart, in fart, in At about 3am in the morning, Billy, my dog, every now and then decides that now is a great time to ask to go outside for a pee. So, in the subsequent battle between me and my partner about who was going to go uh, let the dog out, I won and got to stay in bed. However, perhaps karma worked against me at that moment as she was letting the dog in out and out of the house. I realised at that moment I'd made a critical error in this build and none of us in the shop had managed to even spot it and the bike was almost finished and ready to go to the customer. But before I tell you about how we made the mistake, let me show you how clever I am and how I got out of it. This is a custom spider I built for a pinion uh, rear crank set on the 10. If you look closely, you'll see the way, I'll just move it back and forth. One chainring is connected to the crank and the other chainring is connected to the actual pinion and creates the, uh, the, the ratio. So this chainring goes forward to the front crank set, so both riders are working through the pinion. That meant machining off this crank, making a custom spider so that it could hold a, a chain ring on the crank. We do, by the way, hope that pinion may actually respond to this and produce a, a proprietary crank which does the same thing because we think it is great for tandems. The mistake I made was, and spotted in the middle of the night, was before this existed, 
I had the two chain rings bolted to the same chain ring, uh, to the same spider. Now that meant that the front rider was not getting any of the gears, only the back rider was able to pedal and change gear, which is not really what we wanted to go for, so... No good. The solution, however, is very elegant and we're obviously very pleased with it. So taking on and building custom bicycles comes with a slight amount of tension, anxiety, adrenaline of, geez, I hope it will work, and you're never really 100% sure. But you always back yourself and you always make sure that the customer gets what they need. The, I think that's the art of being a good custom bike builder. It's not necessarily uh, the beauty of what you make, but, also, but the refinement in making sure that you get it right in the end and making sure that it, it does the customer's uh, job perfectly. And that's what I really enjoy. So this bike sent us a little curveball, gave us a little scare. I lost one night's sleep. But the result, I think, is actually a beautiful bike and we actually really love all the features that it has. As usual, like, subscribe, tell your friends about us and keep an eye out for our next builds. If you're a Tandem fan, then you're actually going to love the next couple of builds coming up. We've got a sociable side-by-side -side Tandem and we've also got a flat packable, highly adjustable seat Tandem coming uh, probably just before Christmas. So uh, hang in there and I hope you like to see those builds. Uh, cheers!